Alright, Gollum, just run up this wall. What? Okay. Everything's fine. We'll get it next time. Don't worry. You just had to run up the wall. Nope. Okay, okay. Everything's fine. Don't worry. We're having fun. We'll, we'll get it next time. Just run up the wall. See? It's nice and easy. And then just... Oh! Okay, the platform's not in the right spot, so we gotta jump at the end. Okay. So just run up this wall. And then jump. Nope. Okay, that doesn't work either. Alright, everything's fine. Don't worry. Can we run up this wall? No. Okay, we can't run up any walls. But don't worry, everything's fine. We're having fun. Can we at least just jump on this card? Okay, no. Everything's fine. Don't worry. What is going on, guys? Shovel Gaming here with another game review. This time, it's going to be Lord of the Rings Golem. This game has been out for almost two days now. It came out on May 25th. It was developed by Daylight -like Entertainment and co-published with Nikon. And this game has been quite an adventure, and not because it is a good action adventure game, but because it's been an absolute disaster. And I was going back and forth on whether or not I was going to play this game in the first place. The initial gameplay that was coming out didn't look great to me. And the big game companies that had early access to it did not review it well. And I decided to play it anyways because I'm a huge fan of the Lord of the Rings series. I normally enjoy the games. And just as a content creator, I wanted to play the game and cover it and make guides for it and collectible guides and stuff like that. And I also don't normally give in to the early reviews of some of these games as well because I think there's a trend right now in games to just kind of review bomb games on launch even though some of them don't deserve it just because it's kind of the popular thing to do and it gets clicks but golem unfortunately is deserving of all of the reviews that it's getting this is a bad game it's really bad and the main issue that i have with it is it's literally unplayable we have another 2023 video game release where on launch day the game literally cannot run you are lucky to go 15 to 20 minutes at a time without the game crashing, without the game skip freezing, without the game dropping frame rates to the two to three frames a second, without Gollum just falling through the map or just having Gollum jump to the next ledge and then going straight through it and then fall into your endless death. I play this game on Xbox Series X and normally one of the reasons I still play a lot of games on console at release is because you normally don't get these things too much. And surprisingly, this game is the opposite. On Xbox Series X, I can't run it. It's constantly crashing. It's constantly glitching out. It's constantly skipping and freezing and stuff like that. It's, it's literally unplayable at this point. And then the other biggest issue that I have with this game is that Overall, it's pretty much a giant platforming game. I'd say about 85 to 90 percent of this game is just endless platforming, and it's the same type of platforming that we see in all these types of games. Copy and paste it, where you're just walking up vines, you're climbing on vines, you're walking on ledges, you're dropping down the ledges, you're, sh you're shimmying across, you jump to another ledge, you jump to a pole swing, and all this stuff. But the issue with all this that I really have is that the platforming is just terrible. I mean, you jump onto a pole swing and Golem just goes straight through it. Or you jump to a ledge and Golem just jumps right over it or doesn't grab onto the ledge and you fall. You go through these really long expanses of platforming and at the end of it, Golem just kind of falls through the map and then you have to restart the checkpoint and do it all again. And I'm definitely somewhere in like the four to 500 death range for a game that I've played for like 12 hours which is absolutely ridiculous. And it's also ridiculous that this game put an achievement in the game for completing the entire game without dying when you literally can't even walk through the game without falling through the map and dying. I mean, it's just, it's so bad. It is, it's genuinely one of the worst games I've ever played. And there are some things about this game that I think they can fix through patches and stuff like that. But it's just, it's, it's, it's not... A game that I, I recommend at all. I it's been a while since I've bought in a game where I've been legitimately kind of pissed off that I spent sixty dollars on a game, and if I wasn't covering the game to make guides and collectible guides and stuff like that, I definitely would have been contacting Microsoft and asking for a refund. This thing is really bad. There's no way it was play tested at all. And if it was play tested, either the testers have no idea what they're doing and are actual bots, or we're basically just told we have to launch the game as it is. The game was already delayed, so I'm assuming they were being pushed by people with money involved to kind of get this game out i mean how many how many more times can you delay it it obviously should have been delayed again and it's just it's a disaster do not do not play this game i do not recommend this game again maybe they can 
get this thing patched up and, and fixed up. But overall, it's been a really bad experience. And it's, it's genuinely been one of the worst experiences I've had with a game. I have plenty of footage from it. There are a couple things that maybe are like kind of good about it, but the majority of it is pretty bad. And we'll get into this more into the review coming up. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Now, you'll start your experience with Lord of the Rings Golem, basically reliving your past tales of what happened to you in Mordor with Gandalf while you are in prison, and Gandalf is trying to figure out what happened to you. Now, Chapter 1 is pretty short, and if there's anything about this game that was somewhat decent, it was this chapter. The You were basically introduced to the game's mechanics, such as the platforming and some enemies. And at this point in the game, the game was running somewhat smoothly. I didn't experience too many bugs or crashes, and the platforming sections were not polished, but were running okay. It's a lot of just shimmying around, jumping from vines to vines. You then run into some enemies, and you'll learn some basic mechanics like how to use shadows and bushes to sneak past them. You'll also learn some other things like how you can throw stones to distract them or put out lights that are near them. And you will also learn a mechanic where you can sneak up behind a guard and kill them. And again, this game, the game was running pretty smooth and I was having a decent time playing it at this point. You then reach your first dialogue option, and these are interesting. You are kind of going back and forth on whether or not what to do during the game, where Golem and Schmeagle are arguing. Your first decision is whether you need to kill a beetle or hide. And I'll tell you what, this looks nothing like the initial gameplay that was promised to us. This looks like something out of a horror type of PlayStation original game. It looks absolutely terrible for a 2023 video game release. But nonetheless, we continue on and enter chapter two, where we have now been captured and sent into slavery. And this is when this game really fell apart for me. And it went downhill really fast. There is a mission in chapter two called Halls of Grand, which is basically a nonstop platform mission. And if you play this game, you will no doubt at least die over a hundred times during this one level. And you will be forced to restart checkpoints over and over again. Golem simply will not grab onto the ledges or the pull swings that he is supposed to grab onto, or he will jump or drop instead of jump. It's just, it's just endless death after death for no reason other than the game just isn't running. He just will not grab onto things, and you have to restart checkpoints over and over again. My personal favorite was this wall during this level, which you need to run up and then jump backwards. And, of course, Golem just simply would not do it. I ran up this wall probably 100 times before he finally jumped backwards, and I was able to continue on with the level. Not long after that, we'll have a new mission and we will be tasked with following the Candleman's Daughter. This is a section of the game that probably should only take somewhere in the 5-10 to 10 minute range, but will take the user 2-3 to three hours because it's the worst level I've ever played in my entire life. There is first this dreadful wall that Golem just does something different on every single time. You run up it and you will be forced to start the checkpoint over. Sometimes he just wouldn't run up it. Other times, he would sort of run to the side of it or underneath it. And I was stuck here for quite a while. Definitely a lot longer than you would like to be. Sometimes he would just miss the platform in general. And it's just nonstop death after death once again. And restarting checkpoints over and over again. Finally, we get past the wall. And I also realized, luckily, there's another path you can take. But... As we press on, we come to three pull swings, which were even worse than the wall. Golem just will not grab onto these pull swings. Sometimes you, you reload the checkpoint and you immediately fall off the map. And I don't know what it is with these three pull swings that these developers could just not get right. Or maybe the playtesters just skip this level. But you just can't make it past these, these pull swings. Golem just either will not grab onto them or he will jump off of them. My personal favorite during this level was the NPC that we were following would sometimes stop and just freeze in place and the game would glitch out and it would force you to go into the main menu and restart the last checkpoint. And again, we get back to these three pole swings and Golem just cannot make through them. I don't know what it is. He just either drops off them for no reason, even though you're not hitting any buttons, or he just goes right through them and it's just nonstop. Head banging yourself into a wall because 
Golem won't do the things that he needs to do. If you're crazy enough to continue on with the game, you'll eventually work your way into the Tower of Light, which is another long platforming section where you will no doubt at least will die a hundred times again as Golem continues the thing where he just flies through pole swings. After that, you'll work your way into the sewers and you realize that Golem is a terrible swimmer and he simply cannot grab onto ledges that are more than one inch out of the water. We then come to this very fun and exciting cart section where the developers made the simple task of walking onto carts nearly impossible and it results in endless death after death and reloading checkpoints over and over again. During this section, you will be basically having to work your way through a cart while jumping over things and switching from side to side to avoid the obstacles. And you will die a lot. It's just another absolutely terrible section of the game. And if you make it through, you get to know another one of these wall runs where you have to jump backwards at the end. But of course, Golem just refuses to do that. And if you're lucky enough, he will launch himself way off and you will fall back onto the cart section below and die. And then we have to reload the entire cart section again. In the next chapter, you will work your way back into Golem's cave where you will need to run away from the giant spider. You will have to use the awesome platforming features in this game, such as the wall running and the sliding to get away from the spider, which of course doesn't work. So the spider will eventually catch up to you almost every time. And again, you will die another hundred times while trying to escape the spider and then have to reload a very long checkpoint. After that chapter, that is where I decided it was time for me to call it quits with Lord of the Rings Golem. I cannot keep playing a game the way it is in this state. It's infuriating to play. It's impossible to play. I'm not having fun doing it, and I just need to not do it anymore. Uh, I do plan on finishing the game. I do plan on covering it still, but right now it's just a disaster. I'm hoping they can get this thing patched up and fixed a little bit. You know, they probably can get some updates out to fix some of the platforming issues, some of the bugs and things like that. I hope they are because right now it's a disaster and when you pay $60 for something like this, they better work quick to get it fixed. Overall, this game has been a terrible experience. It is genuinely one of the worst games I've ever played. I'm having zero fun doing it and I don't recommend it to literally anyone. Bad game, bad experience boring and it just is impossible to, to play it's you can't even play it if you wanted to overall those are kind of my thoughts of lord of the rings golem let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking of this game so far if you're playing it on other consoles or if you're playing it on pc let me know how the performance is i am curious i've heard some things about playstation that being even worse on pc i've heard different uh things about how it's running let me know in the comments again what you guys are thinking. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks.